boom, hit shot. What is up guys, Aphrodite here with another Team Fortress 2 Man vs Machine gameplay and this time we're doing the scout today. Uh, the loadout is the Force of Nature, the Mad Milk and the Fan War. Okay, so the upgrade order I used was 35% to Mad Milk speed reduction, uh, full Mad Milk recharge, uh, upgrade your resistances, then your movement speed, and health regen and with the extra put into your force of nature's damage also buy crit canteens for the tank uh, first off what you want your main goal on all the other waves apart from the last wave is cash leave everything if you if there's a choice between kill a guy and collecting cash ignore the guy make sure you get the cash it's the most important thing apart from the last wave which is making sure everybody is receiving critical damage from the final war, mini crits rather, and keeping everybody slowed down with the mad milk. Now first of all what I did there was I used my crit canteen on the tank so that um, I could put a little bit of extra damage. I remember when we were doing this we failed it a couple of times before I got this gameplay so what you want to do is have a couple of crits, it helps the tank get damage down a wee bit, you do almost 300 damage per uh, hit and a crit without any firing speed upgrades on the force of nature, roughly lasts about 6 shots, so make sure you do that because that's quite a lot of damage you can get down on somebody. Now you see here what I'm doing is mad milking, with the first, with the uh, upgrades I was telling you about, the mad milk has the capability to slow enemies down by 35% which is very 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 helpful and it keeps them all it gives your team more of a chance to kill them before they get close to the bomb point obviously uh, it also co the milk allows you to heal uh, allows people to heal off them off the damage that they cause to the person who's mad milked I don't know what the percentage is uh, I forgot but if someone's mad milked and you shoot them as long as you're not over healed you will actually heal yourself from it so it's a very good idea. Mad Milk, hev uh, a heavy shooting someone who's Mad Milk can almost stay alive the entire time he's being shot. Um, also what I'm doing here, you see a bit of fail aim there, uh, shooting people is not a priority. This, As you see here I'm not bothering to do anything, I'm waiting to Mad Milk these uh, people, you want to find a war, the heavies, or the giants rather, because it makes them uh, take mini crits if you didn't know, which can half the time or better the time it takes to kill these, so definitely find a war. If you can't, if you don't have to find a war, I believe the Sandman can be upgraded to the point where it can do that as well. There's an upgrade you can use that causes crits on people, so, or uh, mini crits, so. You definitely want to do that because it helps your team out so much. Uh, with the Force of Nature, um, as you know, it causes a lot of knockback, which is good for a couple of things. One, you can use it to actually jump up higher. I'm not sure if I've done it in this video or not, or do it, I can't remember. But, uh, see on my left now, that little walkway, It's quite. it can take a couple of seconds to get to if you don't have the Force of Nature, what you do is you run towards the edge you want to get to, jump, uh, you want to look like 45 degrees down, not straight down, but not like horizontal, and just uh, jump, then shoot, then jump again, and you'll actually get slightly higher, and you'll be able to make it up there. It's pretty good for th uh, things like that. What you can also do is actually cancel bomb planting animations with the Force of Nature. So if you know somebody's going to plant, you can actually put a hit in and it'll actually stop them planting as long as they're not overed, which is um, extremely useful. Um, jumping is very useful. Uh, make sure you want speed on your scout so that you can actually collect as much money as possible. Your main goal is to collect money and not anything else really. Uh, more money, if you can collect all the money in a wave, you can uh, you get an extra bonus 100 credits. So you want that as uh, 
one upgrade can make a difference really depending on what it is. The Force of Nature's knockback can also be used to knock uh, smaller enemies into the trenches. You can knock the giants into the trench but it's quite difficult. I tried it a couple of times, you've got to really hope that they take the inside route. Also another quick note with the fan of war, if you hit a medic, uh, uber medic with a fan of war then start shooting him you'll more likely kill him quicker. Sometimes if you just shoot the medic he'll uber straight away so fan of war him first. Well this has been Afrodan, sorry it's been a long time since I've last put up a video but I'm hopefully, I just got Borderlands 2 and I just, I'm crazy about that game so uh, hopefully I can get back into a better upload schedule but thanks all for watching and goodbye.